Welcome back to Sports Class with Dr. K. Well, that great ESPN documentary, The Last Dance, is behind us. But they're working on quite a few others, and they've got some coming out, including one on Lance Armstrong, which is getting a lot of attention. So, we're going to take this episode and talk about some of Lance Armstrong's greatest moments. He's one of the most controversial figures in recent memory, but we're going to look at some great moments, controversy aside. But first, let me give you the answer to the trivia question I asked at the end of the last episode. So I asked, name the only woman in PGA history to make the cut in a men's event. Now, if you've been paying attention to some of my previous lectures, you might have been able to guess at this one. It was Babe Diedrichsen Zaharias, who I talked about quite extensively in my episode on sports great multi-sport athletes. So check that one out for more on the Babe. For now, let's get to some of Lance Armstrong's greatest moments. First, let me mention a couple of honorable mention moments. Great moments, but not quite good enough to crack into my top five. Like what about 2005, his seventh and final victory in the Tour de France. After many early season doubts about his fitness, Lance stormed back to win in convincing fashion, holding the yellow jersey for 17 days in that tour. Or what about 2004, the final time trial, when he actually caught on the road Ivan Basso, his closest competitor, meaning he gained more than two minutes on his competitor that day. Well, those don't quite make the list of top five for me, but let's get to number five. Now, this one also came in 2004, Lance Armstrong at the height of his powers. And late in that tour, stage 18, he's well on his way to victory. He had more than a seven minute lead. Nonetheless, in that stage, a bizarre moment occurred when Filippo Simeone, an unknown rider really, joined the breakaway that day in an attempt to win. Lance Armstrong, leading the overall tour and in the yellow jersey, chased down Simeone in that breakaway group. This is a very unusual thing to do. But Simeone had in fact testified about his own blood doping and he had implicated many other riders, including Lance Armstrong. Lance refused to let Simeone have even a chance to win the stage that day. He chased him down and reportedly on the road told Simeone, I will destroy you. And in, in fact, he did more or less destroy Simeone, who found it hard to catch on with teams after that season. He retired in 2009. Now, this moment seems a little cruel in hindsight because, as we all know now, Simeone was actually right in his accusations. Moment number four comes from 1999. There were actually many great moments in that tour, which was Lance's first victory. How about the very first stage when Lance Armstrong took the overall lead, winning the prologue? Remember, this is after he's recovered from cancer and nobody really knew what to expect. Or the final time trial in that event, which he also won, becoming only the fourth rider ever to sweep all of the time trials in one Tour de France. But my favorite moment from that tour comes from stage nine, the first mountain stage, the climb up Sestriere. Now again, nobody really knew what Lance would be able to do in the mountains. A lot of people thought he would break down, but he didn't. He hung with the leaders that day and in fact broke away late in the stage, winning the stage by more than 30 seconds and taking the overall lead by more than six minutes on his way to victory in the tour. All right, moment number three. Now, 2003 might have been Lance Armstrong's most dramatic tour victory. And actually, two of our top five moments come from that tour. The first one coming on stage nine during the descent into Gap. Now, this was an incredibly close tour. And so lead riders struggled to chase down Alexander Vinokurov, who had broken away on that descent. The Spanish rider, Josebi Balaki, broke down and fell on the road right in front of Lance Armstrong. Lance had nowhere to go but off the road. He actually took off across what fortunately was a grassy slope rather than over the side of a cliff. He stayed on his bike, was able to stay with the lead pack through the end of that stage, and while Vinokurov did win the stage, Lance Armstrong didn't lose too much time and ended up, of course, winning that tour. 
Moment number two comes from that same tour, 2003. Now on stage 15 now, Lance was attempting to hold off a pack of elite riders who were trying to chase him down in the late stages. On that particular day, he was in a lead group with Iban Mayo, Jan Ulrich, who trailed him overall by 15 seconds, and Vinokurov, who now trailed by only 18 seconds. Lance and Mayo had pulled ahead of the pack, but with about 10 kilometers to go, Lance Armstrong got tangled up with a fan on the side of the road, and both riders went down in a heap. As the other contenders went by, Lance struggled to get back on his bike. He slipped out of the pedals, almost fell down again. Ultimately, he did recover, and the lead pack waited a little bit in an act of sportsmanship while Lance caught up. Eventually, though, he went right past them, surged on to win the stage, and of course, win the overall tour. And the number one overall Lance Armstrong moment comes from the 2001 tour. It was stage 10, a vicious stage. There were three beyond category climbs finishing up the famous Alp d'Huez. Now Lance may have been playing a little bit of possum that day. He appeared to struggle on the second climb. And so riders in the lead pack thought he might be vulnerable. But in fact, as they went up the Alpe d'Huez, Lance caught up with the leaders. And in one of his most famous moments, as he danced on the pedals and went off into the distance, he looked back on his competitors, a move everyone knows as the look. He wanted to see if Jan Ulrich or any of the others could keep up with him. Of course, they couldn't. He went on to win the stage by more than two minutes and of course went on to win the overall tour. So there you have it. Five great moments from Lance Armstrong's career. Let me know your favorites or let me know ones that I forgot in the comments below. Before we sign off, let me ask you a trivia question about Lance Armstrong. So, Lance Armstrong was forced to vacate all seven of his victories because of his suspension. So, who is the official winner of those tours since Lance Armstrong is no longer considered the winner? I'll give you the answer in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.